Uh, we played, for those listening, Mike went to St. Joe's in Avon Lake, Ohio, with Anthony Gonzalez, obviously. So Anthony was a grade below, and you know, he played for Ohio State. Now he's a state senator. So um, for Ohio State and then the Colts was drafted. And the Colts, exactly. So yeah. Mike and Anthony went to the same school. So did you ever get to play in the same seventh grade? Were you with Anthony and that team, or how was that set up? Yeah, yeah, we were on the same team, I think, for one year. Um, and he was always a beast. I mean, he was like, you know, fastest kid from as far back as I can remember, you know, in the school. And um, I think he was like a state qualifier in the four by four team for Ignatius, you know, when he was a junior or senior, but yeah, that, that was awesome. We had, we had, when I look back at it, I think we had like four or five guys from that little CYO team go play in college. Unbelievable. And I mean, yeah. There's a lot of people from Avon Lake that always say if Anthony would have went to Avon Lake and played football there, that they would have won a state championship with the talent you guys already had. And you guys got close a couple of times and had some runs, you know, and you guys beat. I mean, I just had an assistant coach from Olmstead Falls on the show who was an assistant coach for football back in 2000 when they won the state championship. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Dan Largen. And he, he remembers you guys real well. He goes, you, you, you beat us. Only team that year that beat us, and we won the state championship over Pickwock, Quinn Pickcock. So mm -hmm. it was kind of interesting. I, I told him about you, and he said, yeah, Quinn was on the team that we beat in the state championship. So oh, wow. it was interesting how that dynamic went. But I remember you guys beat, I think, St. Peter Chanel, who won the state championship that year, and yeah. the Falls in the same year. That's unbelievable. So, yeah. um, But let, let's go back real before that. Going in the freshman year, obviously, that's when me and you met, played basketball. But, you know, football-wise, at that point, now you're looking as a freshman. You're, you're pretty – I mean, people know your name. You're pretty highly touted. Take us into your freshman, sophomore year before you really broke out. You know, what were your thought process? And, and like, what did you think, Mike, your high school career could be? To be honest, at that time, I, you know, you're not really looking out past the year you're in, uh, at least at least I don't remember doing that. And, uh, you know, at the time, I, I was just I remember coming in freshman year, not knowing many kids from the public school. I came from the private school and uh, run, running sprints. And I'm like, dang, I got to get my speed speed right. So, I mean, that, that was really my focus freshman, sophomore year, trying to get faster and, um, you know, uh, you know, as far as like looking down the road, I mean, there, there wasn't, I think, a whole lot of that, you know, until you get, you know, sophomore, junior year, when you start talking to some colleges and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and you played for Hall of Fame coach Dave DeLugas, obviously. And how did Dave impact your career at that point? You know, when you starting when you started getting to, you know, playing with the older guys, um, you know, what was Dave's impact on your career? Yeah, Dave was awesome from, you know, he was the first coach that I actually remember sitting down and, and mapping out my goals, you know. And it was like, you know, the grades, the weight room, football, all that kind of stuff. And um, he was a master at that kind of stuff and just the, the fundamentals to the game and, you know, teaching you, you know, you know positions on the field and, and things like that. So he, he was definitely impactful. And Avon Lake back in those days, I mean, still is today, but really back in those days from the 90s through 2000s was a powerhouse. I mean, we were winning the division every every year, basically. I think they won what, like? I think it was like 15 or 16 straight division titles, something like that. And yeah. It was insane what nice. they did. And they had just great player after great player, tons of great running backs. So, you know, when you came onto the scene, now we're going into like, you know, 99, 2000, 2001. Again, what was, did you guys think you had the team that could win a state championship? And, and where do you, you know, at that point now, you're, you're becoming one of the best linebackers in the nation. And what, what was that like? And how did you get to that point? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd say, yeah, junior year, I mean, that's when we had, like, I think, Jeff, you know, Jeff Strauch was running back, and Zach Lewis, a good buddy of ours, played at Overland College, and, um, I mean, we, we just had so many kids on that team. Um, I really thought junior year was the, the year we were going to, you know, win, and I think we only made it to the second round, that first or second round that year, and then my senior year, I think we made it to the third round, um, and we had, you know, great talent all around every year you know the, the motto was uh was reload every year and um yeah I mean I you know but uh, what was it two years after we graduated I think they actually did win yep so. it was exactly two years yeah and, and you see those group of guys coming up of course and we had a lot of our friends little brothers played on that team and they were loaded and yep. uh, yeah they, they they finally won the state championship and I was happy for everybody in Avon Lake because it was something such a great football tradition there and to finally get that championship. And I think they went back to back. They didn't win it the second time, but they went back to the state championship, I believe, the, the last year. I think like Trey Strauss was on that team. There's a ton of guys that we know on that team, obviously. But uh, yeah, that no, they, was- uh, They played uh, Brookhaven in that game. And I remember, because I bet uh, Mo Hall, I don't know if you remember Mo Hall. I remember Mo Hall, yep, State. State. yep. So he went to Brookhaven, so we had a little bet and uh, yeah, he won that one. <laughs>